If you use the Chrome browser from Google, you're going to like this add-on that uh, is possible. Normally, whenever you open up a new tab in Google's uh, Chrome uh, browser, you'll just get a page like this that has some recent uh, pages that you have visited. I like to add the add-on or the extension called Momentum. Now let's do that here. I'll show you how to do it. You go to, you go somewhere, I don't know where. You go to Settings, then you go to Extension, and then you can search for a new one. Go all the way down to the bottom of the screen. Get more extensions. Whenever this pops up, we have the slowest internet on the planet. High-speed DSL. It's slower than most dial-up. Look for the add-on or the extension called Momentum, and you can just type the word M-O-M-E-N-T-U-M -E and find it. Momentum New Tab Page. That is not the one that you want. <laughs> Sorry about that. That's for developers who want to uh, work with Momentum. Go down here till you actually find the extension called Momentum that looks like this icon here and click the free, it's my favorite price, and click, uh, yeah, just add it to my Chrome browser. And if you don't use the Chrome browser, if you use, say, Microsoft's Internet Explorer, uh, of course, the first question on anyone's mind will be, why? Chrome is beginning to be a little bloated. People are beginning to move to face uh, Firefox, but uh, uh, Chrome, Google generally comes through at the last moment, and so uh, probably Chrome will still be the browser of choice for most of us, for most discerning individuals. It is still loading as soon as it finishes loading here. We will return. So right now, let's sit here and watch the counter, shall we? Okay, now we see that momentum has been added to Chrome. I skipped ahead a little bit so that you didn't have to wait as long as I did for this thing to load. And I think we're ready. So now what we do, I'm going to close this tab, go back to where we were, close the extensions tab, and go back to where we were now. Whenever you want to enter or create a new tab, uh, well, the first time something new is going to happen. Now, first of all, it will show a pretty picture, and I'm not a big touchy-feely kind of guy, and this is kind of supposed to be, quote, inspirational. But it actually is a productivity tool, as you'll see. So I'm going to click the New tab, and it will load the day's visual graphic. Now, it will always display actually a, a fairly beautiful photograph in front of you. It changes every day. And it wants to know, I'm going to say, yeah, let's keep the changes. It's what I wanted. Okay, hello, what's your name? Well, you can type whatever you want. Uh, if you stay logged in to uh, Chrome, or if you log in to Chrome and use your Gmail account, then all of your computers will automatically get this tab, and it will all be linked, and that's nice. So it first asks your name. Of course, it will not do this every day. This is just the first time you use it. Now it's going to want my email. Uh, I guess I will go ahead and type it. That is not my primary email address by any stretch, but uh, I, if you want to send me some PayPal money, uh, feel free to. I'm going to go ahead and enter it because I, I want this to work across all my browsers. Please choose a password, so type something, I don't know. All right, 318, good afternoon, Greg. Now this makes more sense in the morning. Uh, let's say that I just start up in the morning and uh, open Chrome or open a new tab in Chrome, and I'm going to see tomorrow morning's picture, and it will have the time, and it will say, Good morning, Greg. And instead of asking me, well, it will ask me, what is the main focus for today? Now, let's say that, um, let's say my main focus was to do this video for you. I'm typing this in the dark because my overhead lights make too much noise for this recording. I want my sound to be better quality than it used to be. So I can't even see the keyboard I'm using. Sorry about the typos. Uh, 
that's pretty accurate. And I'm going to press enter. Now I could enter more, but it is telling me that, okay, well, I, I don't need this. It's telling me that outside the temperature is 28 in Bags, even though we don't live in a town called Bags. That's not uh, Momentum's fault. Uh, some links, but I don't care about that. I could do a search, but I don't want to do that. It's telling me that this is from, this picture is from Argentina. Uh, we've been to Argentina. I'm not sure that we saw this, but anyway. And it has some silly inspirational quote. Decide what that you want it more than you're afraid of it or something. But that's not really the big deal. The big deal is this. I'm going to close this tab now. Every time I open a new tab today, it's going to show me this picture, give me the time right now, tell me good afternoon or something, and then it's going to remind me of what my primary task is for the day. Now, if I finish this, I can X that and add another, but this is a real minor little thing. Before, Google would just give us a boring uh, set of screens that we've been to with a Google box, but this is a little more interesting, and I find it does keep me focused whenever I have to stay focused in the daytime. It's counting down the time. Time is the one resource we will never get more of. And so it's always counting down the time, actually by counting up the, the uh, time of the day. And it's reminding me every time I open a new tab, it is reminding me of what I have to do today. Finish this video for you good people. So um, that's it. And this is what I would call a very minor incremental productivity enhancement over the default of Chrome. Now, I don't know if this is available for Firefox or not, but um, it's kind of a nice picture that you see, and that's not a big deal. It changes every day and it's just beautiful, but it kind of keeps you focused on the time that's running out before your workday is done and on whatever your primary task is for the day. And I don't even look at these inspirational quotes, but anyway, they're down there if you want. I think that this is a nice little, very minor, very incremental, incrementally small addition that can sort of help your productivity. It can help improve your uh, working of the, of the day. And I've used this now for a couple of weeks, and I do find that I stay a little more focused whenever I'm working. It just kind of reminds me of where I am in the daytime, and I hope it helps you.